Hi book babes, my name is Ainsley and today we are going to be doing a reading vlog and I guess movie review, movie watching vlog, I don't know, of The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. <laughs> I have a blanket in the dryer because it's freezing. I'm gonna get into some, some sweats, make some hot cocoa, and just read this book. So, hope you guys follow along with me. filming on my iPhone. My camera is dead. I am on chapter five of The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes and it's pretty good. I will say the big difference between this book and The Hunger Games is I watched the movies before reading the books and I feel like I was able to visualize everything a lot better but it wasn't my own imagination like I was just like remembering the movie scenes. So the reading experience for this book versus The Hunger Games series is a little bit different is because I'm putting together the pictures in my head like I'm having to come up with what this character looks like what this character look like looks like but it's also interesting because we've met some of these characters in the Hunger Games series it's just like 70 years in the future or I guess 60 technically um so I'm trying to be like what does she look like young? So I'm excited to watch the movies having my own creation in my head. I just think it's going to be interesting. So book is good so far. I'm going to read one more chapter and then I'm going to bed because I got church in the morning. So good night. Hello guys. Welcome to All the Chaos. We are in this car with my family. We are on our way to Asheville right now, which we're so excited. Um, but it's four people and three dogs, and we're just trying to just trying to figure out life. That's my brother. That's Winston. This is Atlas, as you guys know. Oh, hey, babe. Oh, that's so kind. And then this is Roxy. We don't really like any of them, but Atlas. We have three hours left in our drive. Oh, shoot. Literally, what if I just... What? Okay. Um, we have three hours left in our drive and the sun is going down, but I'm going to see how much of this book I can read because on our vacation in Asheville, we are going to be seeing this movie as a family. Right, Dad? Yes. And we're so, oh, and we're so excited. So I'm going to go read this book as much as I can before the sun goes down and then I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. Hey fam, we made it to the Airbnb. I hate that you look at me whenever I do this. In the car, I read two chapters, really good chapters. I was like audibly reacting. So my whole family was kind of reading it with me. But I think I just hit page 100 in the car. Yeah, I'm on page 114, chapter eight. So it's really good. Really good. Let the games begin. Ah. Hunger Games last February and March so I feel like I have like a pretty good memory of the Hunger Games and I don't remember them being this like graphic I don't know maybe I think the main thing is that this is the 10th annual Hunger Games so the war that is mentioned several times in the Hunger Games and this world just happened so it's kind of it's more fresh in their minds and there's still so much anger and fear instilled in both the capital people and the districts um so i think emotions are running high in this book 
Whereas in the Hunger Games, the Hunger Games, it's kind of just like a routine. Like, it's annual now. There's no, like, true emotion tied to it anymore. It's just, like, this is what we do to, like, reinforce the idea that, like, we're in power of you. Um, so this book, it's just, like, very emotional for both sides. I don't know, but I'm really excited to see the movie. I plan on finishing this book um, probably tomorrow, and then we're going to go see the movie either... Tuesday or Wednesday so I'll keep you guys updated on that but I'm so excited guys I promise I've moved positions since the last time I caught up with you guys I'm on page 351 I think there's 505 pages in the book so I have a little over 150 pages left to go so far really good I'm really enjoying it it's incredibly fast-paced so I'm really able to just fly through it my only thing is this is the, like, I just reached the end of, like, what I knew was going to happen, so the remaining part of the book is all, like, like, I just don't know what to expect. So, I'm excited to see what happens. I think I'm done reading for the night, though, because my mom and I were going to finish watching Noel, which is the Santa Claus movie with Anna Kendrick, and I love it. It is my, f one of my favorite, um, Christmas movies. So, we're going to finish it, and I might possibly get to page 400 tonight before going to bed. Hello guys! I finished the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes a little earlier this morning. Um, actually not this morning because I woke up at noon, but, um, it was like in my morning routine. I finished it. Um, I'm giving this book four stars. It was really, really good. So part three of the book, it was so boring to me. Like, I just felt like it dragged on and I feel like the ending was super rushed and I feel like I didn't get all my questions answered that I wanted to. I expected to see a lot more of President Snow's life, but I feel like we only got like a year of his life. Um, super interesting and I definitely liked the setup and how the Hunger Games in this world was completely different than the Hunger Games that we've seen in those three books. So that was really, really interesting to see like the beginning of the Hunger Games. Honestly, it would have been a five-star read, but those like last 100 pages, 75 pages, I really just wasn't happy with how that was, um, but Suzanne Collins, her writing style is so consistent. It's so beautiful. Whenever I read her writing, I genuinely feel like I'm in that setting because her description is so vivid and lively. I, it feels real to me. So I love her reading. I almost started ending this video, but it's not over yet because we have the movie review whenever we go and watch the movie. So stay tuned for that. But this book is getting four stars and I'm excited to see how I rate the movie. So bye. perfectly on this book stand. We just got back from seeing The Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Personally, I'm giving this five stars, the movie. I gave the book four stars, I'm giving the movie five stars. Oh. What are you gonna read? I would agree, five stars. Yeah. I want to go back. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go back and I, I truly was thinking I don't know where to go. I didn't tell you that. No. I love some snow. You're not supposed to be a snow sympathizer. And oh, she's no. a snow sympathizer. I think the character that he was in this movie sets the stage for why he is the way he is in the actual but movie. I liked so. him from beginning to end of this movie, though. Oh, yeah, no, I enjoyed watching his story, but I think I can tell... Oh, why yeah. he's gonna why he's a jerk kind of honestly praying that we get a sequel to this movie or we get to see like from now to when he becomes president i think that would be really really cool uh -huh. say hi to your fans he's boring that's <sighs> duncan did you really just turn the lights oh okay sorry 
Sorry, my brother's in here and I literally was like about to freak out if he had just turned the lights off after I said I'm filming. <sighs> Duh, okay. <laughs> I've had it up to here with you and your tricks today. <laughs> what in the ghost? I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't. Okay, we've transitioned to a lamp lighting now. So, sorry if it's bad. But, I kind of just want to fill in you guys, like, on my thoughts on the movie. I thought it was very, very well done. As for, like, a book to movie adaptation, 4.5 stars. It was so good. I felt like the changes that the movie made were justified. If you read the book and go to the movie, there are some changes, but they're changes that if you hadn't read the book and were going to see the movie, you would have been confused by. So, I think they made good executive decisions to like cut some scenes or to change some of the, like the political facts just to make it run a little smoother. <coughs> Can you not fart while I'm filming my video? But a lot of the changes that they made made the movie a lot smoother. So I definitely like that. Um, my dad commented, he didn't read the book, but he commented on how well cast the movie was. And I wholeheartedly agree with that statement. I think they did a phenomenal job of bringing these 2D characters to life. They did a great job with that. So I heard of the controversy with Rachel who played Lucy Gray in The Hunger Games and I was kind of hesitant to see how she would perform in this movie considering all the negative things that I've heard about her and I gotta say she's incredibly talented and I'm very happy with how well she performed in this movie. Um, so all the controversy that I heard about her, I'm kind of just like pushing it back because she did a great job in this film and I really hope that people who are saying negative things about her, can you just jump up here because you're being really distracting. Thank you. I honestly think that if she gets a little bit more press training, I mean, I think she's my age. So she's 21, 22. Maybe she's 23. I don't know. Um, but I remember reading that she was like around my age and I mean we have a lot of growing up to do still so I get it. Um, but I think if she is to get some press training she's going to be phenomenal and we should definitely like keep an eye for her. I also found it to be super refreshing that they cast a girl with Down syndrome in the movie and I also really love the fact that they did not show her death on screen. Um... I know the death that she had in the book, but in the book, the District 8 tribute was not meant to have Down syndrome or any sort of disability, so that was fine for me to, like, read about it, but having to watch that would have been extremely difficult for me, having um, somebody in my family with a disability, that would have been difficult. So, I definitely appreciate the fact that they gave her a role and just allowed her to be part of this phenomenal, um, enterprise and the girl who played this character is Sofia Sanchez. She's extremely talented. Um, I was reading the people who did her audition said that she had so much talent and I'm really excited to see what she does after this movie but I gotta say I was really, really impressed with how dynamic and inclusive their casting was and I'm just I'm just it was just a really good movie. I think now whenever I do the Hunger Games movie marathon I'm going to start with the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes just for like the chronological order and I I would like to watch it and then immediately watch the Hunger Games just to see how my feelings on President Snow kind of shift. Um, I think while I enjoyed watching President Snow in this movie as like the younger character I can't say I can't say I'm like a fan of President Snow now was his actor beautiful and very attractive yeah but <laughs> I don't want to say I'm attracted to President Snow because then I'm a bad person you know what I mean well that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching I really enjoyed reading a book and then immediately going and watching the movie I think that made the movie such a better experience because it was like I got to just like extend my stay in the world. That was a lot of fun and I think I'm gonna see what movies are coming up that I can read the book first and then watch the movie and do another video like this because I had a lot of fun filming this video and editing this video. So I actually don't know if I've had fun editing this video because that hasn't started yet. So I don't know. I could have just lied. But anyways, thanks for watching. I post every single Thursday. Comment down below what you thought of this book and if you watched the movie, tell me how you liked it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.